Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Grumpyville. Now, I've started this off as a bit of an impromptu live stream. I've just put something up on Twitch, and I've just started this live stream. It's 1 a.m. for me, so it's going to be interesting to see if anyone turns up. So, where are we? We're back where we were just after the last attack. Our defensive area is a bit of a mess. And it needs a lot of work to get it back together. I had a couple of ideas and I want to try them out. And it's one of the things I'd like to do here. Um, other things are, uh, I would actually like to get this finished and up, up and running now. I think it's been, we're getting too far into the game now. And this is an early alpha still. This is alpha 4 we're playing off and there's a ton of bugs in it. So the, um, I think uh, we need to get playing now get into the end game get going get finished see how it goes um we've lost someone i didn't notice at the time but um an eagle-eyed commenter pointed out that we've lost um our crafter so i'm going to have to pick someone else to be the crafter and i'm thinking that uh Kamaro might be a good person to do. He's got crafting of the three, which means he's actually got some interest in it. And he's not actually doing anything else of any import. So he's now our main crafter. And while I'm thinking about that, let's just check to make sure there is stuff to craft. So we've got uh, a load of slag there. And yeah, we've still got a load of... Uh, stone there and let's just make sure yeah I thought I suspended that let's put that back on so we get some stone built up again right um, how are we doing for metal we got plenty of metal fair chunk of wood including a wood that hasn't been cut down yet so let's get that one drop down uh, okay so let's just cut plants it let's just get rid of it there we go Perez is actually working on the uh, the tree farm there at the moment, cutting down a few bits and pieces. So that's looking good. Uh, set this now to accept uh, t-shirts and tribal wear. They still have no way of getting rid of them. So that'll do that trick. And Barrow there. It looks like Barrow is um, getting rid of some of the corpses there, which is excellent. And we should have, have enough space there to start moving a lot of these weapons on there to get sold so let's have a quick look here and before we do anything else let's get this organized so uh, people will concentrate on repairing this because I don't really want to be in the situation we were last time where we had an attack started when this was still unfinished and our defenses didn't last more than a couple of minutes because of that lost people Riesling that was the name of the guy we lost Riesling I'm desperately trying to think of his name so there's the sandbags and let's get some turrets put in here where they got destroyed and there's a plan there we need one there, one there. How many we lost here? Most of them, to be honest with you. Like that. Yeah, I think that's got all of them. And let's just make sure we got all of the stone walls we need in place. No, we haven't. So one there. 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 So there go. That's good enough to get us running. And if we get that built relatively quickly, I want to go on and try something new in a minute. But in the meantime, let's get this roll. Oh, actually, before we go, the muffalo. It's a little known fact that uh, the muffalo was the uh, the camp, uh, uh, the camp pet, the camp icon, was ridden by Tigris in the first few days of the game unfortunately exploded under extreme circumstances or something like that and uh, that's the reason why we buried it with honors it was it was it was it was it makes a lot of sense really to be honest with you stuff out of the way 
there so right let's put this back into action let's get things running for a little bit and let's see how we deal with our problems as a look of food food seems to be all right Jono is fully healed that's excellent Arrows working away nicely making some stone getting rid of some of the colonists there that's good oh what's happened here We've been attacked by something. Well, I'm not seeing what attacked us. Oh, there it is. An unforbidden colonist there as well. Okay, I, 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 what's it? Right, you, my friend. Go boom the boom rat. Right, well done. Yeah, get rid of that. Yep, yeah, great, fresh boom rat for the pot tonight. Wonderful. Okay, this is being built up again nicely. Okay. I've been thinking about this defensive area. And I'm glad I've got the mouse available here. What happens is that people stream in down here and they all spread around here and they attack various um, various uh, turrets. But because they're coming in this way, most of them come down here. And once this area is destroyed, they then want to defend themselves from the turrets here. So they come around here. Now what I want to do is actually try to give them a reason not to come around the back here. And what I'm thinking is that we're actually going to give them, and this is going to sound a little bit weird, but we're actually going to give them a little defensive area. So if we uh, get people, uh, if we get uh, our colonists to make a little sandbag area here, then the idea is that the, the colonists, the, 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 the pirates, the uh, tribesmen will come in down here. They say, oh, here's a nice defensive area. We use this area. It's still probably going to blow these things up, those, these turrets up, but there's less incentive for them to leave this area and go around here because they already have a defensive area. It's going to be interesting to see if it makes a difference. Buildings need power. Improvised turret, improvised turret, standing lamp. Why do these need power? Um... have a quick look here should we go to structure and uh, actually we want power and we just click power conduit we can see what everything's wired up to oh there we go there's the gap get that fixed and then there's those that power will come back nicely and it looks like we've missed a sound back there get that allowed Frankie524, hello, welcome to this, the uh, live stream. I don't think I've seen you here before. Alright, we, uh, we're building up nicely now. That's there. Okay, so we've got power coming up this side. And it's going to be interesting to see if this actually makes a difference. So while we're looking at that, let's have a quick look at this. Nobody's actually working on this at the moment. But they should work on that next. So Paris has moved into the nice room. Let's make another nice room. First off. Um, there's all things. Let's get that hold out of the way. And actually, while I'm thinking about it. Clean up this wall here a little bit. And let's make another decent room. So we will have a table, a couple of stools, and a royal bed. Like that. And actually let's put some potted plants in as well. Make things look a little bit nicer. And there. And there. And this is coming together. It's almost done actually. 
good. We might actually be able to survive the next attack. Well done, Roger. Uh, we've got all the colonists, uh, all the tribesmen cremated, so we don't need that on anymore. And we're running short of power, so let's turn these off. Oh. And you know, do that one. Oh, actually, let's just leave that one on, just in case some rabid what's it comes in. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's come together nicely. Good. All right. Um, yeah, somebody's working on that. So let's add some more stuff to that. Another structural beam there. See how many of those more of those we need. And let's get somebody building the computer core as well. So the ship at least is being worked on. And we can use this AI core to, uh, to deal with it. See what happens. Okay, so we have a room there. That one's not being used at the moment. So I tell you what, let's do the same thing to a, a used room. Where's Tigress sleeping these days? There we go, Tigress. Right. That could be the next room we do up. In fact, we can start putting some bits and pieces in right away. Like that. And wood table. That and a royal bed and a plant pot. There we go. Okay, so where's Tigress moved to? Okay, Tigress has moved into the nice room. That's good. I think that's what we'll do for now. We'll just... <laughs> oh, thank you for your contribution. We'll just follow um, people around and do these rooms up one at a time. What's going on here? A group from Village at the Crag are visiting the colony. I have no idea why we get a, a, a notice like that for that. Never made sense to me. Ah, good. All the t-shirts are gone. Mysterious blight has destroyed your crops. How are we doing for food? Not bad, but not particularly good. Let's grab some of these uh, muffalo corpses. Where are they? Okay, those are do. Oh, we just need to allow them, don't we? There we go. And uh, that'll help fill the pot. We've got plenty of foods now that's still there. And in fact, let's get this room rebuilt a little bit from the last attack. King Crawler One, hello. Oh thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say so. Um I really, really love the fact that everybody loves those uh uh the, the stuff that um we're doing there. It's it's just so much fun, especially the, 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 the playing the magical diaries, doing the silly voices, and just mucking around and having fun. Oh, we've used up all that metal already. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to go hunting some more. Uh, not hunting. We need to go mining some more. Okay. Actually, I have some chunk here. So let's get that walled off. In fact, I've got a bit of an idea. Yes, let's do that. We do this. And we put a power... Uh, yeah, let's put a power door in there because they got, they're a bit more defensive. And... Put a passageway up here. What I want to do is create a back door. We were... I want to create a back door area. So... When we're not... At, actively being attacked. It's easier for us to get through up here. And... <laughs> Frankie254. I'm, I'm really glad. I love it. Um, I've been giving some serious thought, okay? And in fact, I've got yeah, a couple of people like it here. I'm thinking of doing a few of them um, myself because... Uh, it's not the easiest thing to get the three of us together, so I'm actually thinking of doing a couple of um, um, visual novels. Just me. 
So I'll be doing all the voices and having conversations with myself. I'm sure that Ellen and everybody's favourite changeling will appear in them. Uh, I just just wondering if people would like to see it. Would you? All right, let's get that mined out because we run out of metal. Ooh, fire! Big fire. Is that not a home zone yet? I think I actually should make it one. Uh, zones at home region. Oh, actually, that looks a bit messed up. Let's uh, first of all, let's get that there so they put the fire out. And we need to get rid of some here because otherwise you have this nasty habit of running around outside when we're being attacked putting out fires that we don't really care about so let's get all that sorted out <laughs> have I ever wondered if um, somebody has ever bought a house full of windows and leaves them open because they heard Damien. Well, I'd certainly hope that they bite lots of straws as well. Mm. Because otherwise it's just not the same. <laughs> I like that. Ah, oh, they're visiting again. How nice. Right. Okay, people should run up there and put those fires out now, which is good. We get some metal being... Yep, yeah, we're getting some metal being mined there. And what I want to do is I just want to put a little stockpile here. And the idea here is that we put a stockpile there. And the only thing that's going to, going to put in that stockpile is stone. So let's just take all this stuff out. Uh, um, manufacture. No, raw resources. There we go. Stone. Stone blocks. And if ever we get attacked, I'm just going to get somebody to make a stone wall. I better turn all that stuff off. There we go. Uh, make a stone wall behind that door so people can't break into it. And we'll make that critical. So everybody will go out of their way to fill that up. Which should make life easier for everyone. Alright, um, okay. Uh, let's turn that one off. How are we doing for power? Okay, we've got plenty of power. We've got plenty of food. Excellent. So I'm missing a bit of wall there, so let's build that. Uh, actually, perhaps I, I used the right command. And it's no longer... Uh, a paste defense dispenser in there because that got shelled and destroyed as well. Not oh, good. Okay, we got those rooms built. Building the AI presser. Uh, yep, yeah, the AI core. Excellent. That's nearly done. Got all the metal it needs. We are still very, very short of metal, so searching for metal is definitely next on our list of things to do. So. First of all, let's clear that space. The local boom rat has gone mad. Okay, well that's the least of my worries at the moment. If they don't, they might get smothered in butter. I'm literally hiding all my straws right now. <laughs> Yeah, once uh, somebody asked me if uh, if Damien would uh, you know, be stealing people's souls, and I just couldn't understand it. I mean, what use would Damien have for a soul? I mean, he, he, it's not like he has one of his own. <laughs> yeah, cream cheese, perhaps some strawberries. It's starting to sound good, actually. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, Jonah's finishing that off. Excellent. Right, so... Show launch report. Cannot launch. Not surprising. It's missing just about everything. So let's actually get uh, a couple more bits and pieces built onto there. Um, 
So this engine's a such a horrible design. Group of mechanoids from an echinoid hive have arrived. Oh dear, that's not good. 